some of your cloth for bandages. And how much is the mother you sell? Good day to you. Sarah was never an agreeable girl. Her tongue tells tales of rebellion. Right. But she was so fast so quick with her bow. No one quite knew where she came from. Sarah was never quite the quietest girl. Her attacks are loud and they're joyful. But she knew... And how much did you need? So, this is it, huh? I know it's fine, yeah? It's just, I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if you were a man, right? Wasted. Anyway, stopping wars should own more sovereigns than this. Need things back to normal for coins to be flowing again. Another reason the Templars and Mages need to be sat down. The Templars and the Mages? Most people pick a side. Most people are stupid. But where do you stand on the wall? In the frigging middle with everyone else. You know what I hear about mages? Nothing until one goes all demony. Know what I hear about Templars? Nothing until they take maybe mages. They're too busy to look up where the real questions are. That's why we're here. To help guide everyone back from the brink. The religious ones tell you that. That's important, right? But don't make it all about that. Seems like believing too hard is what got everyone here. And here is stupid and smells of horse. Really, what everyone needs is to get everything back to normal and proper and profitable. Sound good to you, old touched Lady Herald? I'm ready to give it a shot. That's all I can ask from anyone else. I'm in. It's an investment, yeah? Better pay off, too. Stupid war and everything. I had things to do. We can get that for you right away, sir. But I thought an army would want weapons more than beaten. It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. We had to do something, and now we have an opportunity. Yes, and we have the opening we need to approach the Templars and the Mages. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the Order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the Mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. I could at least find out what the Mages want. No doubt what they've always wanted. Support for their cause. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The Mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. You think the invitation could be some kind of trap? If some among the rebel Mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options.
There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. That does sound odd. I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. You return. If you find anything, please bring it in. Speak only the word. Sing only the chant. Then the golden city is thine. Excuse me. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. What's the message? We've got word of some Divinta mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bull's charges can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. What can your Bull's charges offer the Inquisition? We're loyal, we're tough, and we don't break contracts. Ask around, Val Royale. We've got references. What should I know about your commander? Iron Bull. He's one of those Canari, the big guys with the horns. He leads from the front. He pays well, and he's a lot smarter than the last bastard I worked for. Best of all, he's professional. We accept contracts with whoever makes the first real offer. You're the first time he's gone out of his way to pick a side. Why did your commander send us this information? Iron Bull wants to work for the Inquisition. He thinks you're doing good work. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. Though you had granted them power over the very Fade itself. Chasing the Lord Seeker, I hear. Anyone who thinks they need Lord in front of the name, that's bad. They Bet he's got a portrait taller than he is. Much firstly to a total ass. Back. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Which? The ones who do things or the ones who give orders? What about Solus? Solus? <laughs> His head's crammed up a thousand years ago. Anything to say about Varric? Varric? Too clever. Always saying something, but never saying it straight. What's your opinion of Vivienne? She's a bitch, but she knows. She's better. Thoughts about Cassandra? Not as buttoned up as she plays, right? Tough said. I'd stand behind her in front of anything. What do you think about our spy master, ambassador, and commander? Liliana is pretty in places. I swear I've seen her too. Or her she used to play. But that'd be mad. Now, Josephine, she's as good at humbling her kind as I am. Just with less match. Knows her business. If we have to have it. And Cullen. I suppose if you want a jackboot, you get a big one so you can grow into it. Nice hair, though. We'll talk later. Good, right? I'll be here. Chasing mages? That's a Templar's job. A big, armored, pissed off helm polisher. Not too late to go find some. Or stay home. Tell me about yourself. What about me? You're skilled. Who taught you how to use a bow? No one. That seems unlikely. What? I picked it up here and there. Mostly it just makes sense. It's not like that for you. Oh, certainly. Not a day's effort for the naturally gifted like us. Well, it's not like that. It takes work. A bit. 
Not like Cullen and his pets. I mean, you miss, then you don't. Is it that hard to see when it's wrong? Well, it's not like that for other elves, I know that. <laughs> Most I know couldn't find an arrow sitting on it. Right. Maybe I just make it look easy and shite company. Fact still is, no teacher. Where would I find one in alleyways, anyway? How about the basics? Where are you from? Ferelden. I got that from the accent. Where in Ferelden? All over? Okay, fine. Denimrim for a bit. South, north, wherever I want. There are no connections you want to mention at all. Nope. It's complicated. I don't like complicated. Let's leave it at that. Maybe. I'm just interested in talking to an elf like me. Mm, don't think so. Why not? Well, maybe you're all right. But most elves are too... healthy. Like that soulless, right? Never be as good as we were. Well, who's we? I'm just fine. I think there's more to it than that. A few thousand years more. Hey, someone wants to be angry about old debts, be angry. Be a terror that never lets an enemy forget. But if you're digging it up so you can wear it, that's just weird. I mean, you Dalish don't really know. You have stories, but that's all they are. It's all fancy dress, not history. We'll talk later. If you say so. Shall embrace the light. I shall weather the storm.